Welcome to the Data Scientist Podcast with Dr. Stylianos Kabakis. Dr. Kabakis is a data scientist, statistician, and blockchain expert with a mission to educate the public about the wonderful capabilities of technologies like AI, data science, and DLTs. These technologies have the potential to transform the world, the economy, and our lives. However, there is too much misinformation around tech, and so most people are just confused about what is true and what is not. Whether you are a CEO, an entrepreneur, or just an enthusiast, the Data Scientist Podcast helps you separate reality from hype. Hi, everyone. In this episode, I'm going to talk about what I think is wrong with many data science courses, and I'll explain the reasons I decided to create Data List Academy. So it's a those of you who have been following my work know very well, I've been in the area of data science for a long time. And I've taught in universities, uh, both in the UK and abroad. I run executive education workshops. I've done quite a lot of things. And I have a very good understanding of what the landscape of data science education looks like. And I think one of the biggest revolutions in education, which took place around I don't know, it was like 15 years ago, was the creation of MOOCs, Massive Open Online Courses. And this really brought a revolution because for the first time, anyone in the world, no matter where they are, they could attend courses designed by some of the best universities, some of the best researchers in the world. In data science, I'd say one of the best examples is the machine learning course by Andrew Eng from Stanford. Andrew Eng, for those of you who don't know him, he's a bit of a celebrity in the field of machine learning. And he created a very popular machine learning course on Coursera. I think it was the first machine learning course on Coursera. And back in the day, anyone who wanted to learn more about machine learning would follow this course. So this was a big revolution. And Initially, the, everyone who was involved in MOOCs, not everyone, but many people who were involved in MOOCs believed that maybe education would slowly shift from universities more towards like online learning, but we didn't really see this happen. Yeah, so I mean, like websites like services like Coursera or Udemy, they're very popular, but it's not like everything is online. And there are many reasons for that. Yeah, first of all, the classroom experience you know, cannot be fully substituted by an online course. And obviously, not all classes are good, right? So not, not all lecturers are, are good. And, you know, everyone who has attended university will probably agree with me that might have been some very interesting classes which they attended and then some other more boring ones where they might have been better off reading, you know, the material of a book. But you know, when you're in a classroom, you get to meet with other people like, that have common interests as you. You get to build a relationship with, with your professors, etc. So while, while not all classes are useful, you know, making everything 100% online might still not be, you know, the best idea, at least not for everyone. You know, for some people, it can be a very good idea, but not for everyone. And that's one thing we saw. And then another change which we saw in education around technology and data science was the creation of data science bootcamps. And the idea behind a bootcamp is that you don't really need to go to university and study for three, four or five years, whatever, in order to become, you know, a data scientist or a programmer or whatever. If all you want to do is get a job, it's quite easy, right? So you just have to learn some basic skills and then you just get a job and you learn on the job. And I think that's a um, you know, pretty good idea because in reality, many people I've met who studied computer science, they didn't really care so much about becoming computer scientists. They just cared about becoming coders. You know, and once more and more materials and tutorials started showing up on the internet, many people realized that you know, maybe I don't really, you know, need to go to university. I can just study things on my own and then get a job. And this is especially very common amongst people that want to change careers. So let's say you studied something like physics and you decide that you'd rather be coding and become a Python coder. Well, you can do it, right? So you can find the resources online. And the idea behind bootcamps is that they offer a more systematic way to do this. So you go to a bootcamp for, let's say, three months. It's an intensive course, and you learn everything you need to know within three months. 
and then you know you get the job and that's a, a very very good proposition for those who want to get a job that's what they mostly care about but then again you know it's limiting because if let's say you want to become a data scientist and you follow this route then you're never really going to you know never going to learn things in depth right so the kind of things that you learn the kind of things that you the knowledge you acquire cannot be compared to the depth of knowledge that you know a phd in machine learning would have and uh, this might be okay for many people but for many others you know it might be limiting and you know boot camps are a good idea but just like MOOCs, they're good if you know when and under what conditions to you know to use them and obviously we still have you know university degrees around which is probably the most traditional choice But, you know, master's degrees, they started to get more and more expensive. And that's very true in the UK. Since the government a few years ago decided to basically allow universities to increase their fees. So I remember when I I studied in the University of Edinburgh, I paid something like four or five thousand pounds. And I think now the same degree is, I don't know, 10, 15 thousand pounds, which is a bit crazy, I think, because we're talking about the same degree. Obviously, it's a complicated matter, you know, university fees and how you can, you know, you can get money from taxes to pay for universities and whether society gets this money back. But but in any case, while some universities can offer a very good knowledge, the value for money, you know, someone has to think carefully about that, you know, what, what they're really after. Are you after a job? Are you after, you know, becoming a computer scientist? Are you after a PhD? Why would you want to go to a university spend a year? Because there's an opportunity cost attached to this decision right so if you're going to spend let's say twenty-five thousand pounds or dollars or whatever in order to you know for living expenses and tuition fees etc you need to make sure you you're making the right choice and you know i've been thinking about this and about education and data science and and i realized that you know there, there's room for something better yeah there's room for something better and the solution i found was to create a new kind of course which is focused on flexibility and customization. And what I mean by that is that the focus of, of this course is to provide something for everyone. And this really came out of my experiences from you know teaching like various courses in various countries. And one of the things I noticed was that you know some students would benefit a lot from a classroom environment, others would find it boring. And also some students would be very motivated to learn, you know, as much as they could about the subject. Other students just wanted to get a job. But all of them, all of the students, they really, really liked when you give them like some personal close attention. Because, you know, it doesn't matter whether someone just wants to get a job, whether someone is already in being employed and just wants to increase to improve their skills or whatever. If you give someone more personal attention, if you help them with with their you know, with their challenges, be it the workplace or the career or whatever. It's something that they appreciate a lot and benefit a lot from. So I came up with this idea of blending the best elements from different modes of learning. So I'm like, okay, we have university courses, we have massive open online courses, and we have data science bootcamps. So how would the next generation data science bootcamp look like? Yeah, so it would have to be a course which would allow everyone to fulfill their potential and their goals. Yeah, so if you just want to get a job, we can help you with that. Yeah, so the program is, is designed in a way that you can do that. But if you want to acquire PhD level knowledge in six to 12 months, we can help you do that as well. Yeah, we can help you do that. And this is how Datalist Academy came to be. And the idea behind Datalist Academy is as follows. First of all, the theory behind the course and some basics of coding, etc. These are online. Yeah, so these are these are the things that, based on my experience, they're best if someone studies them on their own, because people have a different pace, and in a classroom environment, usually this doesn't work very well when people have different speeds. And this allows anyone to adapt the program to their needs, right? So this part is online. However, at the same time, we have some workshops yeah, which are conducted in groups and are conducted in person. Or now, if there are situations like a pandemic or if someone doesn't, is not located in, in London or in some other city where we have mentors, then they can join over Zoom. And the reason we do these workshops is like twofold. First of all, the workshops that provide a more personal experience, they allow you, much like in a classroom, to meet with people that have similar interests 
There's some networking value there as well. And secondly, the workshops, they are always on topics which the group is very much interested in. So if let's say there are five students and they're like, look, we're really interested in how you can use data science in, I don't know, the insurance industry or sports betting or whatever, then we, for, would, we run a workshop around this. So the set curriculum, the curriculum that's online are the things, the theory that any data scientist should know. But then the workshops, they are on topics which are of high interest to our cohort, to our students. And on top of that, we offer 24 seven mentoring. And the goal behind the mentoring, the idea behind the mentoring is to provide you the personalized support and advice that you need, right? And again, this is something that's quite often missing from many courses, be it boot camps, MOOCs, university courses. In my experience, there's no substitute for a good mentor. And the reason is that a mentor can help guide you through the material. It can help guide you not only through the course, because, you know, at some point, one or another, you're going to finish a course. But what happens after that? Yeah, what happens when you have to go out there and find a job? And this is where a mentor is very useful. And obviously, this relationship doesn't simply end with a course. We have a career service that continues after the course until you get your first job. And obviously, you know, we are looking to have ideally a, a lifelong relationship with our best students. And this is how Datalist Academy came to be. Yeah, this is the idea behind Datalist Academy. Combine the best elements from MOOCs and from university courses, from data science boot camps, and create the killer program, right? A program that, you know, it's, it's flexible, it's personalized, so if, if, for example, someone wants to finish this program in three months intensive and get a job, they can. If someone wants to do it over a year and go more in depth, they can. If a company wants to upskill, you know, its employees, you know, a group of software developers, for example, to help them understand more about machine learning, they can through this program. So there are many different possibilities. And I'm very proud that, you know, I've created this program and I'm pretty sure that there are going to be many other companies that are going to imitate us. Yeah, because I think this is the future. I think that in general, when there's something new and shiny, people tend to make big statements and overgeneralizations. And when online learning first came to be and MOOCs came to be and Coursera, everyone was like, oh, everything's going to go online. And then this didn't happen. And then everyone was like, oh, you know, university courses are probably the best option. And then data science boot camps and this and that. But I think we, we've learned from this from all of that and, and now we, we can bring all the best elements together. That's what we can do. And yes, I'm pretty happy about this program. You can find the link at datally.st. So this is D A T as in Thai, A L Y dot S and T. And if you can't find like the website, just you can find it from my own website, thedatascientist.com. Just go on the page courses and you'll find Datalist there. And from there, you can find Datalist Academy. So yeah, I'm very happy that we're launching this next generation data science bootcamp. And if any of you are interested in this program, simply feel free to get in touch. I would be very happy, more than happy actually to answer any of your questions. So thank you for being here with me on this episode and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Make sure to visit thedatascientist.com for more content about data science, AI, and blockchain.